often said here on the show that this, let's not forget here, the United Kingdom is of course a, a Christian country, whatever people try to push that message through. We've seen other individual religions being very rude indeed by deciding to take to prayer inside, for instance, Westminster Abbey, you know, on the grounds, all that sort of stuff, even though there's a plethora of alleged mosques in and around London. That is, of course, to put you off, to frighten you, to tell you that this is the brand new religion that will be taking over. But more importantly, are we our own worst enemy? You see, when you look at sort of broadcasting in particular, uh, you know, things that you kind of think, wow, you know, it's incredible that we don't see anything like this anymore on our screens or indeed our radio. Why, for instance, does not uh, the BBC, that's the publicly funded television service and radio service over here in the United Kingdom, support the Christian faith? It's an interesting thing, you see, and I would love your opinion on this. Many years ago, we used to have a very successful program called Songs of Praise. And then there were other programs literally on the other channels like ITV Commercial, Praise B, Highway, Stars on Sunday. And these were sort of very much dressed up in entertainment that gave you an introduction into many different faiths, you know. They went live into churches, they had inspiring stories, showed you the difficulties that people had of all races, culture and background. And it did make a pause for thought, particularly on the Sabbath day. This isn't, a, you know, a lecture. It's just, you know, what I remember. I'm sure many of you remember this literally as we were growing up. But now the BBC, even though they have a religious ed editor who's literally on over £150,000 a year, yes, that's right, and the previous person, the incumbent of that job, was none other than Martin Bashir. So you can see exactly how well they take that particular role seriously. Now, they've come back with a sort of half-baked effort of songs of praise. And it's normally put out in the middle of the afternoon on a Sunday, never promoted, and of course, never ever written about in any periodicals because they simply don't push it. In their mind, you see, it's one of those cost things that they have to do. It's a tick box they have to do as part of their remit. But they say it's very expensive setting up outside broadcasts to churches and things like that. It's not too expensive when it's on the other foot, though, is it? When they're covering all sorts of other manner of things, other than some might suggest the Christian faith here in the United Kingdom. Now, according to a very well-placed source, they'd like to wipe it out altogether and just bring it back occasionally as specials. Now, I ask you, what do you think to this? Do you think that reintroducing that particular program or indeed other style broadcasts, making it more acceptable so we live in a more caring, sharing and inclusive world will help the situation that we're truly all going through now? And people like the BBC, ITV and all the other channels, could they not do more to make sure that we understand each other? Literally, they have the power, they have the viewers, but more importantly, they seem very keen to make sure that they wipe out the one religion that is truly dominant here in the United Kingdom, and that's the Christian faith. So now, should we be wiping out the religious editor of the BBC? What's the point of that job then? As ever, do let me know your thoughts on these programmes, past and present. Would you like to see more? More importantly, who would you like to see present them? Neil Sean in the very heart of London.